And so right now, this is our senior, this is Antonio. He is a relative of Jossie, and so he's going to introduce him right now. Antonio Burke. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Antonio Beret, and I am here today to introduce our guest speaker. He is a father, uncle, and big brother. Professionally, he is a writer, poet, speaker, lawyer, and a graduate of Columbia Law School. He is my biggest role model, and he's helped me grow up to be a better man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Josie Ross. Hi, everybody. Hi. How you guys doing? This is a question you guys answer. How you guys doing? Good. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Can you guys hear me without this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't need this. Um, I'm not a motivational speaker. I've never been a motivational speaker. I speak facts. Um, I'm, the biggest roles that I have are, as Antonio said, or as we know him affectionately as Sonic. Um, anybody know why he's named Sonic? I'll give you guys a story. He thought it was because of the so Sonic's franchise, the basketball team. Um, you, you guys know, you guys might be too young to know there was a basketball franchise here called the Seattle Supersonics. And so as a baby, he was always in Sonic's gear. The reason why he's known as Sonic is not for that reason. It's because when he was a baby, first of all, he was real chubby, he was fat. And, and, and he has, and he still has, he still has, get over here. <laughs> he still has these really, really, really sleepy eyes. These sleepy eyes. And his hair, no matter how much baby oil we put in his hair, it would stick straight up. And so he looked like a hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. So uh, those are the more important roles that I have, is as a father, as an uncle, as an uncle to, to many of the kids around here that are, are not biologically related to me, but we meet out here in the basketball court. And, um, you know, that, that's the more important relationships. I consider myself a community member. I try to give back to the community that's given me a whole bunch. The Suquamish tribe, the Suquamish community, make sure that me and my family eat every single day. They take care of us. So it makes sense that I would take care of it, right? It's a question, right? Yeah. yeah. So I want to kind of talk to you about that, that idea, um, what we're here for, mentorship. That's what this is, a mentorship program, right? Yeah. How many of you guys know what mentorship is, where it comes from? Anybody? This is an open question. Nobody. Yes. From the heart? That's a great answer, and it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, <laughs> but no. <laughs> Thank you. That's a great, give, give them a round of applause, please. How can you do mentorship if you don't know where mentor comes from, right? How can you do that properly? I'm going to tell you. You're going to walk away with something, knowing something that you didn't know at the beginning of this, this session. Mentor was a person in Greek mythology. Mentor had a buddy. You guys listening? Okay, thank you. Mentor had a buddy. His name was Odysseus. Has anybody ever heard of Odysseus? Yeah. The Odyssey, right? The Odyssey. And Odysseus, he said, I'm going to go away for a little while. I'm going to leave town for a little while because we're fighting these people. We're at war. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And he ended up being gone for 10 years. And he said, mentor, my buddy, I have this son named Telemachus. I have a son named Telemachus. I want you, while I'm gone, to do all of the things that I would do as a father for Telemachus. That's a big responsibility. And that's a responsibility that a lot of us, th those things have been happening within native culture for a long time. That is that one of the reasons, you guys might not know this yet, but within our cultures, oftentimes there was something called polygamy. Do you know what polygamy is? Anybody? Polygamy means, it literally means many wives. It means many wives. It means you can marry multiple wives. And the reason why you can marry multiple wives was not because this guy was a player, this guy was a stud, but it was instead because this guy got killed in battle. 
And so now you have a responsibility to that family to raise that child and to take care of that wife. You get that? Makes sense, right? You have a responsibility. It's not about being the guy. It's not about being a stud. It's about responsibility, just like mentor had. So when I think of that in the context of you guys inviting me here to speak, thank you very much. I know lunch is waiting, but I'm gonna hold you guys for a while. Um, it, it's as you move forward on your academic career, and you move forward on your career, and you think back, and you contemplate exactly what this community has given you. It's given you a private educational setting, right? Where you guys can learn. This is a question. You guys, this talk specifically to the student. You guys have an amazing environment where you guys can learn, right? Are you guys paying attention? Okay. If you got something to share, we can come up here and talk. Have a panel. You want to do a panel? Okay. So if you don't want to, let's, let's, let's you know, play along. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility that you have. There's a price, there's a saying, nothing is free. Has anybody ever heard that before? There's nothing free. And so part of that responsibility is if this community, this community takes care of you, like it does, I think, every single person here. It puts paychecks in our pockets. It feeds us at lunchtime. It puts programs. How many of you guys play basketball or other sports here? Cool. You guys do that because the community's taking care of you, right? Because somebody said, I want you to have a resource that other people don't have. If you go to Paul's boat, they have to pay for that same resource. You guys follow that? That's a question. You guys follow that? Yeah, yeah they have to pay. Like, the parents have to conjure up some money. Oh, I'm going to pay for this. That's not something you can take for granted. Times are rough, right? I might not be able to afford this. But here, the tribe, the school, the community is going to take care of it and make sure that you can do that. Furthermore, there's things like food. You know that stuff costs? You guys know food costs money, right? And in a lot of other schools, including when I was in school, fortunately I was on free lunch, you know, it's cool. But uh, they, you had to pay for that. You had to pay for that. Otherwise you didn't eat. In fact, I believe like even the basketball program, I was very, very glad. Um, Antonio, Sonic, he wears size 14 shoes, big feet. Yeah, those feet, that costs money. But part of that reciprocity, that giving of the community was they bought him shoes. They bought everybody on the basketball team shoes, right? That was incredible. Wow. They don't have to do that. They do that literally no place else. That's responsibility. That's not free. That's not free. And so I know oftentimes when people ask me to come speak or when other people come speak, they want to speak about the stuff that they've accomplished or the things that they've done. And that's cool. Like, I've done some cool stuff, and if you guys want, we could talk about it on the side. But I've only done those things because I have a community standing behind me. I'm able to do those things because I know, without question, that if I'm the biggest success in the world, or if I'm a total failure, and I go back home with my tail between my legs, I'm going to the same place. It doesn't matter. I'm safe. I'm going to be at home. And you guys have that sort of security blanket. Like the acrobat. You anybody ever see acrobats when they're doing the flips? I'm the man on the flying trophy, all that? Yeah. Like they do that, but they, they do that with no net underneath there, right? They don't have a net. That net is, that represents safety. You guys, fortunately, at this very, very impressionable, very important, very potent, it's a powerful age. This time right now, between 15 to 21, believe it or not, this is heavy. This is really heavy. Think about this. And it's scary, because I think back in hindsight, and I get scared. And I know Sammy does, too, and I know Andrew does, too. And I know everybody who's lived through it right here on the Squamish Reservation gets scared. This time right now in your life, you're literally making almost every single decision that's going to affect the rest of your life. So the stuff that you do right now is you're still going to be either reaping the benefits or paying the consequences of it when you're 50, when you're 60. And so this is a very important time. And I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that so you'll be thankful 
in understanding that there is that safety net there, that there is this community that supports you. And I don't say that in a vacuum. I don't say that they support you just to say that because people say loaded statements like that all the time. They'll say, oh, you should, you know, native pride. Well, what does that mean? When I say the community supports you, they support you with such things as this school, as, as those, that, that food that you eat every single day, as having teachers here. That all costs money. That all costs time. That all costs resources. And that's somebody that said, I believe in you enough, and I love you enough, and I care for you enough that I'm willing to do that for you. So that's not to scare you. Just be thankful. Understand, you have a community behind you. And that should give you wings to do literally anything you want. Not be scared. To go, if you want to go, you know, take off to Hawaii. Go to Hawaii. Go to school over there. Go learn how to snorkel. Something. Because the community's going to be here. We're going to be good. We got people taking care of it and carrying on that tradition of mentorship. That's where we got it from. We got it. You got something? Okay carrying on that tradition of mentorship. And then when you do come back here from Hawaii, or Mitika, come back from Hawaii snorkeling, you have a responsibility then. You have a responsibility just like Andrew, just like Sammy, just like everybody here, all the mentors. You step into your place and say, I'm going to teach the next generation. And that's the way this community has done well for a long time. And it will continue to do well for a long time so long as people acknowledge both the privilege of being here, and the responsibility that comes with that. You guys follow that? Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, enjoy your lunch. Thank you very much, John. Awesome. Appreciate it.